Hello, people of the internet. Um, it is Saturday, and I have for you a library haul. So I freaking love the library. It's one of the best things ever. I don't have to spend any money, and I get to support authors. And it's fantastic. Um, I have some very exciting books. One of them is young adult, one of them is adult fiction, and two of them are cookbooks. I've been getting into cookbooks lately because I am trying to expand my cooking, I'm trying to get better at cooking, um, I'm trying to get like find some creative ways to um, just get all the delicious things into my body. Uh, so with that in mind, I'd like to start off with A Heart in a Body in the World by Deb Coletti. This has been getting a lot of hype recently on the internet, on booktube especially, and it's um, from the synopsis, it's about grief, it's about a girl who's running from Seattle to Washington, D.C., yeah, and her grandpa is following her in the RV, um, and she's just, yeah, so... This seems like it's a stance for something, but I don't know the twist yet. I don't know what happened that's making her go on this run. Um, and I think the main character's name is Annabelle. Yeah, Annabelle. And I have um, high hopes for this. I don't think I'm going to read this first. I'm going to read this next one first. Why don't I just go ahead and move on to that one? Pretty Girls Dancing by Kylie Brand. Now this one has been on my radar for a while and the last month or two I've been really wanting to read this. This um, is about um, a disappearance, um, girls who've gone missing, and about the um, Bureau of Criminal Investigation agent Mark Foster who's like trying to search for this new lost girl by reviewing the case of a former um kidnapped lost girl and it just sounds fantastic um i'm trying to get into mystery i'm trying to get into um kind of like crime fiction is what i would call it i don't know if that's that's really what it's called but um i'm definitely interested in this i'm going to read this one first because this has been one that i've wanted to read for a while and then in terms of cookbooks, and I know I'm just moving along here. I just, I want this to be a nice, short, succinct video. Um, I don't want to ramble too much because I do have some things going on today. Um, but I have the Deliciously Keto Cookbook um, Molly by Molly Pearl and Kelly Roll. MSRD, LDN, CNSC. Cool. Um, so my husband and I ha are interested in the keto diet. Um, several of the people that my husband works with have done the keto diet and they've gotten some really good health results because of it. Um, I've seen some people on YouTube trying the keto diet and they're getting some great results from it. And so we just really want to, um, I mean, losing weight would be nice, um, simply because I'm still trying to lose um, the weight I gained from my pregnancy. We're just trying to like take more control of our lives, try to um, really expand our cooking and, uh, and whatnot. And so we thought the keto diet might be really nice to refocus our efforts, refocus our diet, refocus our... Um, are cooking. And then the second one, it's a thicker book. It's the Ketogenic Cookbook, Nutritiously Low Carb, High Fat Paleo Meals to Heal Your Body by Jimmy Moore and Maria Emmerich, or Emmerich, not really sure how to pronounce that. Again, same thing, uh, keto diet, a lot of just, you know, quick, easy recipes, I'm hoping. Um, super excited about that. But yeah, I'm just going to be perusing um, these cookbooks throughout the week try to you know find some really great recipes um i <laughs> one thing i love is my mom has this extensive collection of recipes she's you know over the years she's perused magazines and she's cut out recipes and she's tried them and she's bookmarked them and it's wonderful and i kind of want to do the same thing i want i want to find recipes that i really love and kind of create my own like you know binder of just family recipes and uh, I think that would be super fun. Uh, but yeah, that's really all I have. I love the library. Go out and support your library. Borrow books. And that's that's all I have to say. I'm going to go um, get some stuff done. I'm going to hang out with my family. And I will see you all 
next time.